Hi, I'm Bill Anderson, a technical writer for System Center. In this video, I'm introducing the chargeback feature delivered in System Center 2012 Service Pack 1. I'll start off with how System Center approaches chargeback. As traditional IT transitions into a cloud optimized IT, our customers are facing a new set of challenges that places a high demand on IT organizations. Our goal is to enable and help IT organizations manage the transition and to help them be successful in their offerings. In traditional IT, infrastructure was largely physical. SLAs were typically in weeks and months, and capacity was owned and managed by the consumers. However, this is no longer true. With the arrival of centrally pooled resources, on-demand self-service, and short SLAs, service consumers can continue their old habits, which is to oversubscribe and underutilize. And they don't have to carry the burden of managing their acquired capacity. If not managed properly, the ability of IT organizations can be compromised in these situations. In System Center, Chargeback is one of the tools that allows IT organizations to have a conversation with the business units about how they consume capacity. This helps IT organizations utilize existing investments proportionate to their customers' requests. System Center components help you manage these processes. Quotas, leases, approvals, and chargeback or showback. The theme of chargeback in this interim milestone is cloud-based pricing, where each cloud has its own price based on SLA. Most often, you'll have many clouds with various SLAs for the clouds for different business units or organizations. Chargeback uses a rate card or price sheet for each cloud. This means you can have one price for a rate card containing various clouds addressing one SLA and you can have another rate card for a different SLA. Let's imagine a System Center private cloud. Virtual Machine Manager is managing multiple clouds with different SLAs. As you can see here, I have VMM clouds. Each of these corresponds to an SLA. Next, I'll show you how the clouds are used in pricing models. Here you can see that I already have sample price sheets that are associated to some sample clouds. I'll create a new one as an example to show you how easy it is to do. On the General tab, I'll type a name and description, and I'll also publish the price sheet. On the Price tab, I have Base Price, which is a fixed cost for each VM in a cloud. I also have the Compute Price, which is based on VMM size or geometry for CPU cores, memory, and storage. Since the intent of the Price Sheet form is to assign a Price Sheet to a cloud, I'll do that here on the Assign Clouds tab. Service Manager comes with a sample report, but its reporting infrastructure is OLAP Cube based, so you can easily create your own reports. Here's the sample report showing the clouds. I like the format here, but you can easily customize it with colors, logos, or whatever you can think of that will best suit your needs. Here on the Dashboard tab, I have cost centers that represent customers that consume most of my capacity. You can quickly determine which clouds cost you the most by looking at the top three clouds section. Similarly, I can find out which price sheets contribute the most cost to my data center. Finally, I am seeing all these costs over time in the spending trend. All this information is shown for a specific time frame.
On the Chargeback Details tab, I have comprehensive information that is segmented by cost centers. This gives me the breakdown of the total cost across multiple clouds. Here I can see the calculated value for discovered VMs in the clouds, based on the values that I entered in the price sheet. All this information is shown for a specific time frame. Here you can see the OLAP cube information in action in the Data Warehouse workspace. Now I'll analyze it in Excel. Next, I'll choose a few fields to create a simple pivot table. Once I've added the fields I like, I can format the data any way I like just like I would any other information in Excel. As you can see, there are many different fields I can choose from. Using Chargeback Data and Service Manager, you can easily create custom reports that enable a conversation between business units and IT. It's important to let customers know that IT resources are limited in their capacity. You can use chargeback or showback reports to show resource utilization and the associated cost to influence consumption behaviors. What you've seen about chargeback is preliminary for CTP2, but more is in store when Service Pack 1 is completed. So feel free to send us your feedback. Thank you for looking into chargeback. If you have questions or comments, please let us know. You can contact us at this email address.